Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Nick's Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we get into it, I want you to do me one small favor. I want you to hit that like button. I definitely want you to subscribe, leave a comment. If you want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. Well, y'all seen the thumbnail, and I know it's a little mis misleading because, you know, the Knicks did not trade Julius Randle. Uh, I said I should have put should up there, yeah, but, you know, I wanted to catch y'all. Uh, uh, we see everything's going on with uh, the, this Donovan Mitchell trade. So this trade is could happen before that, and this can be a good thing because in, the way I'm gonna break the trade scenario down, it might help the Knicks out in doing doing a little packaging. I know a lot of y'all, well, some of y'all don't want to get rid of Julius. I mean, excuse me, R.J. Barrett in that trade. Um, I'm one of them. I consider R.J. Barrett to be a very to, to be a future star. I'm just gonna put it like that. I think R.J. Barrett is putting his game together. Uh, this is his fourth year. I think he's going to click. I mean, he's still only 21, 22, if I'm, you know, over in that um, range. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is 25. We see what he's capable I know capable of. I know a lot of y'all would like to see that on the New York Knicks, but we will be giving up so much for, I don't know. I, I In my opinion, I don't think um, Donovan Mitchell would be the answer. A lot of people agree with me, and they keep saying that Donovan Mitchell would be a piece. And if Donovan Mitchell is just a piece, then why be giving up so much for just a piece of a puzzle? That's what that's what puzzles me, to be honest with you. Uh, but let's get back into this video. Like I say, should the Knicks try to make that move with Pacers? We have heard about the Lakers not being interested in making that trade for Julius Randle. Reason being because they're not trying to take on that salary. They already got LeBron James. You've seen what they just signed him for for a whopping ninety something million dollars two year contract. They're still dealing with um, Anthony Davis. Um, um con contract you know what I'm saying they want to bring in some younger players so we know the Lakers is, is not going to make that move uh once upon a time we heard about the Dallas and Randall uh Dallas went out they made some moves they got uh, Christian Wood over there right now so I don't really see how Julius Randall could fit into that on that team people were talking about this uh straight up trade for Julius Randall and um Donovan Mitchell we know that's not going to happen because um Utah is trying to rebuild they want some of our younger players. They want some of our, they want all our, our assets. So we know that can't happen. But then I started thinking about the Indiana Pacers and they just made that move in Boston, sending uh, Malcolm Brogdon over there. Uh, it kind of opened up a spot for Julius Randle. With, uh, I could see him and Miles Turner playing well. Miles Turner's a big, he also can stretch the floor. So Julius Randle can do what he do. We know what he do. I'm hoping if he stay on the Knicks, it would be a little something opposite. I'm going to be honest with you. I really want the I want the Knicks to stay right where he at. I think Julius Randle could come in and and redeem himself. Uh, I know he only averaged 24, excuse me, 20 points last year, last season, but the year before he averaged 24 points. Uh, I mean, his stats didn't really fall off by much, you know, saying slightly, yes, uh, he averaged uh, 10 rebounds a year before he dropped the nine rebounds from six assists to five or six, but his efficiency from downtown, it kind of fell off a few. Uh, he shot 45 percent from the field he shot 41 percent from the field this year it's not that much of a drop off he shot 41 percent from downtown a year before to so dropping somewhere around 38 39 percent from downtown so i'm saying it wasn't it's not that much of a drop off we just really we got the us knicks fans ticked off is the way his attitude was last year and i think he'll come in it'll be a totally different attitude i think uh with the addition of um jalen bronson controlling the basketball, getting up and down the court, getting Julius Randle in the right position, that he will fit. It would be a better year. But let's talk about that trade. If the Pacers was to make that move, um, I could see the trade going like this. The Knicks would get Buddy Hill, uh, and a, 20, a 2023 first-round pick, the Pacers that the Pacers acquired from Cleveland, which – <laughs> now check this. That pick will actually be the New York Knicks pick that we traded. I forget what we traded for, but we did trade um, – we did make that trade to it. Um, I forget the team, but either way, excuse me, I'm doing a little transition. I mean, I need a producer over here because I sometimes I get off track. I want to show other things, but none at least. Uh, like I said, the Knicks would get that first round pick, which is our first round pick. And now, what I mean about this trade earlier on, I said that this trade could help the Knicks because it would probably happen before the Donovan Mitchell trade. And we can take that first round pick. Yes, one of our first round picks. And it's an unprotected pick, but we traded it to Cleveland. So we didn't have this 23rd pick in the first pick place. So we can trade that, put in a package for um Donovan Mitchell, 
sweeten the pot and maybe, you know, keep some of our young talent, get Evan Foyer out of here. I know a lot of y'all want that as well. And like I said in some other videos in the past, that Evan Foyer came and did exactly what Evan Foyer is capable of doing. His career, he averaged 14 points. He averaged 14 points for the New York Knicks. Um, but we'll see. Like I said in, in other videos, I want the Knicks to stay right where they at. I like the team that we got, that we built. Isaiah Hartenstein, I think, is an underrated player. I think he's going to come in. He's going to be very helpful off the bench. He's going to get uh, um, even Obi Toppin more points or even – but then again, if we trade Julius Randle, Obi Toppin will be our starting power for it. Uh, I have heard rumors that uh, Tom Thibodeau was looking forward to playing um, Obi Toppin more, giving him more minutes. So this trade can work out good for either team. I mean, on the paces, rosters looking, they got Tyrese Heller, Burton, Buddy Hill. Well, Buddy Hill would be on the Knicks. Chris Duarte, Isaiah Jackson, power for it. I think um, Julius Randle, he would come in and replace Isaiah um, Jackson. and. You know, saying him and Miles Turner can go down and do work. Uh, it would get him somewhere. We all know that Julius Randle probably went out with the Knicks still looking for a trade partner. But a lot of things can happen from the head now until season start opening. A lot of people, y'all, a lot of people wanting that Donovan Mitchell trade. I really not one of them. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's going to work. And, and I'm not gonna say he won't come and be exciting. He won't win us games, but it's not gonna really get us. It probably won't get us in the playoffs. And if, if we do get in the playoffs. He has been proven not to get his team. You know, he had a pretty well, good team that he worked with to get them out of the first round to the second round. And lo and behold, one of the team, one of the players that really, um, in my opinion, that exposed Donovan Mitchell, we got. You know what I'm saying? We just signed him for $104 million, which is Jalen Bronson. Well, with all that being said, you, you know how I feel about the New York Knicks. I want them to stay packed. And I, as always, I want y'all to stay healthy, stay safe. God bless. Peace. <laughs>